I swapped out the fork on Julian's bike, but the wheel I have needs a longer axle in order to fit. Keep watching, and I'll show you how I do it. So to accomplish my task, I need a really long rear axle. And I have one from a hub that I stripped uh, a long time ago. It should fit, but what I'm gonna do is test it out on this uh, Shimano hub that you see me struggling to get the, the dust caps off of. <laughs> Just to make sure that the compatible cones will fit inside the hub and work with the the smaller bearings. Okay, I'm gonna check this as I'll strip this Shimano hub. I'll find two cones that are the same length so that we have a sort of a uniform base inside of the hub. And then I'll find two lock nuts the same length so that again, it's uniform. And then we'll see how much uh, slack I'll have to fill in inside of this form. Now, I should mention that, that th this fork is 120 millimeters spaced, and a front fork should really, especially an older one, should only be spaced 100 millimeters, which is why front hubs are spaced 100 millimeters, and which is why I need to swap out the axle to something longer. Now, why it's spaced 120 millimeters? It, it's, I, I don't understand. It, the fork is totally fine. It's almost as if someone cold set the fork to 120 millimeters. So I'm just working with what I have and really I'm doing this all for free so we have to just make it work. So what I've done here is put in two cones and you can see here I'm, I'm measuring out what a typical front hub should be, 100 millimeters. And with these cones, it's 93 millimeters. So what I need to do is take up as much slack as I can so I've measured a lock nut, and I'll just have to find a matching lock nut so that we keep the distance the same. And here we go, I found two the same. I'll just thread those on. We wanna make sure that we get a tight fit with no play. So I've got it to 111 millimeters. 111 millimeters. So we'll just put this hub back together and use it for something else. Now we're gonna move on to my actual donor wheel. Now that we know that we have the parts ready on the longer axle, and we'll just do the same thing. We'll strip off the, the axle and the cones. We're gonna reuse the bearings. And we'll service the inside of the hub. Once you have a hub open, clean it out as best we can, may as well. Now here's a difference. This hub needs uh, dust caps or grease caps installed on, unlike the Shimano hub, which sort of had them kind of installed already. So it's not that big a deal. We'll put those on. Get our fit nice and tight. Make sure that there's no play in the hub. That looks good. Okay, so now we have our cones installed, our lock, lock nuts installed. We have to take up the rest of the space on that big fork. <laughs> okay, as you can see, it just moves around in there. So we'll just take our measurement of the fork. Like I said before, it's about 120 millimeters. Just put on these extra spacer nuts. It fits in just fine. And then we'll put on our axle nuts. They fit just fine. Nice and tight, no play. And there you go. It's that easy. I hope this video helps you out. If you're ever in need, please like, subscribe, comment, and I'll catch you on the next video.